Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about some news out of KPMG. KPMG has recently made a press release that they plan to be carbon neutral by 2030. And they're making a big deal out of this. They try to make it seem like they're doing it because all of a sudden they're very interested in the environment and they're really pushing forward into being more environmental. But As we get more into the details of this, you'll understand why they're doing this. And we've talked about this, right? Because ENY has signed on to more global metrics. And we went over that last week. And here we go. We went over that last week. And yet again, this week, we have more global initiatives and metrics that the big four are signing on to. And this is becoming more and more common. And I'll let you know my theory as to why I think this is happening in just a little bit. But first, let's get a little bit more details. So KPMG recently announced in a press release that they want to be carbon neutral by 2030. And this comes on the heels of us discussing EOI's global metrics and adherence to ESG principles. And this is just another big four accounting firm that's adopting global standards in order to be able to do business with global entities like the UN and World Economic Forum. And the way they're doing this is they're signing up to a series of new climate actions. They're signing up for a 1.5 degree Celsius target, uh, which will focus on achieving a 50% reduction of KPMG's direct and indirect greenhouse gas emissions by 2030, whatever that means. And they will also commit to 100% renewable electricity by 2022 for its board countries and 2030 for the wider network. Not really sure who's going to keep track of that or who's going to hold them to bear on that. And KPMG says they will offset any remaining greenhouse gas emissions through accredited voluntary carbon offsets to mitigate the remainder it cannot remove from its operations and supply chain. So they're not going to actually remove all carbon. They're going to remove as much as they can and then give themselves some credits for anything they can't and they said it's accredited but who's going to hold them to that i don't know and which accredited institutions are going to hold them to that it's not really clear and really we're here at big4accountingfirms.com we're the only ones that really like hold the big four accounting firms to the metrics that they mandate for themselves for example ian y said that they're going to reach a target of 50 billion by i think 2020 maybe earlier they didn't do that and it didn't even come close. Uh, the big four always set these huge goals. They always set them way out in the future so that people are, are really impressed by how bold they are. But it's so far off in the future, people don't remember them setting the them up and then don't hold them to account. And KPMG also said that they are going to be working with clients across the world to help them decarbonize their business and supply chains. They launched something called the KPMG Impact Initiative earlier this year. And they say that the KPMG Impact brings together the firm's expertise in supporting clients to address the biggest challenges facing the planet. KPMG aims to deliver growth with purpose and achieve progress across the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So as you see, they mention the United Nations specifically. And I think this is something where they want to do business with the United Nations And in order to do business or get business from the United Nations, they have to adopt these standards. But also, you have to remember the big four accounting firms are struggling right now. A lot of companies are struggling right now. They're looking for additional work. Well, the big four accounting firms make all their money from helping clients adhere to regulatory standards. The more regulatory standards you can push on your clients, the more work you can win. So... They're pretending like they're virtue signaling here about the climate, but they're really signing on to climate standards 
that they want their clients to be held to so that they can audit those standards and win additional work. And that's why they're signing on to all these global organizations, these global regulatory agencies, because they want additional work. They, they want the clients to be impressed, and then they want to show them that they, they also need to match these standards. And the global head of KPMG Impact had the following to say, I am delighted to see KPMG enhancing our collective commitment to the global climate agenda by adopting science-based targets with carbon reduction plan that has been announced today. KPMG shares the same responsibility as the clients we serve to rapidly reduce and eventually reverse our contribution to global warming. By further extending our commitments in this space, I believe we are better placed to work and collaborate with clients to help them decarbonize their businesses too. And, that, and that's the end of the quote. Another thing you have to remember about KPMG and the big four accounting firms is they're talking about analyzing their supply chain, removing carbon. The big four accounting firms are service companies. Most of these people are working from home. So what carbon are they actually putting into the atmosphere? The only thing in the big four supply chain that might be contributing to carbon is people getting on an airplane to travel to their client or getting in a rental car. So I think this is a layup slam dunk for KPMG to take credit for because they could basically reduce their carbon footprint in one year. Everybody working from home and only working on their laptops. They just have to say that the buildings they occupy are based on solar or electricity. And that's going to be easy because they're just going to reduce their office buildings by laying people off or telling them to work from home. And then they're going to take credit for the amount of energy that they reduce from laying people off or getting out of their leases or selling their buildings if they actually own any buildings. So I think this is just um, a little trick here for them to win more work related to ESG standards and other global standards that, that all the big four accounting firms are going to adopt. And as potential employees or current employees of the big four accounting firms, you need to learn more and more about these regulatory standards because they're going to be globally adopted pretty soon. So that's the update for today. To get future updates, make sure to subscribe to this podcast and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video on YouTube. And if you can, financially support us through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the show notes to this podcast. Thanks for listening.